Gentlemen, welcome back to the Tiege Hanley, starting a business, building a brand blog. This one, big number 70. 70. Whoa, who's that guy? That's Kelly. <laughs> what do you say? Should we go see Rob, Anthony, and Tom? Hey guys. Gentlemen, what's happening? Not much, we're just talking customer service. Now. Ah, yeah. very important, very important. Yes, Tom, welcome to the, uh, the vlog. Say hello to everybody. What's up, y'all? Very good, very good. Anthony? How's it going, guys? Rob? You know me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this place, right? This is Teach Hanley headquarters for those of you who are new to the vlog. We are in Chicago, and uh, I am going to attempt to film some of a vlog while everybody is kind of working. Um, just to give you an update on the facility, we are super low on product. We've got a monstrous order, um, actually, that is shipped out tomorrow from Atlanta that's going to be here on Monday um, and we've already placed another order and so things are going crazy but since you've been here last um, we still have the really cool wall with uh, all the monumental occasions from the beginning and early days of Tiege Hanley Kelly had done we also have customer quotes up on the wall which is incredibly important because without you none of this happens over here to the right, we have all these prepackaged boxes. Mario, uh, I've talked about a few times before, Mario comes in in the evening and packs all these boxes um, so that when Anthony and Tom come in in the morning, they just basically print out all of the batches of the different labels of what they're going to need, pick boxes and all that good stuff. Um, normally these shelves are full, but we have been incredibly busy. Um, since last time we were here, they also have added some shelving, um, as well as some sexy gray curtains. Um, boxes over here, boxes, products, um, and then still the packing stations. I'm giving you a quick tour, guys. And then where Mario actually picks the different products right here. I am going to set this up here and continue with the vlog because last week, actually it was this week, we had something completely terrible happen. The website crashed. Not just for a, like an hour, not for 15 minutes, for like 30 hours the Tiege.com website was down. Um, it was one of the most frustrating um, scary and unfortunate things that has happened since you know starting this this business and the problem was that nobody really understood sort of what was going on um, you know we use a, um, a a company to handle all of our development um, they're over in India we've got a base they've got somebody here basically locally but then the main team is over in India well the one person who we needed to talk to over there was um, the security expert because we weren't sure if it was a DDoS attack or what was going on but our site was like dead and um, there was no bringing it back um, but he wasn't going to be in for another like few hours so we actually ended up calling the uh, my developer Corin who developed the website in the first place to actually come in and look around and him and Rob together sort of figured out what was going on and were able to bring it back up and revive Tiege.com. So that was absolutely horrible. I don't like this background. <laughs> what do you say? Maybe... All right, <laughs> better background. Um, so today, this morning, I actually flew into Chicago and Kelly picked me up from the airport. Rob flew in a little bit later. And really the point of this meeting today was to actually, for one, meet Tom because um, I haven't met him, uh, Rob hasn't met him, just talked to him on the phone, and just to touch base. Um, we talk a lot in this vlog about the importance of connecting not just on the phone, not just on conference calls, but actually in person. We have gotten more accomplished today in a three hour meeting than we have, I mean, literally, you get so much more done. And it's just another, I mean, 
there's just something about connecting with people and being here and being immersed in the Teach Hanley space that is invigorating, it's exciting, and um, it, it's really awesome. And so we sort of made it a plan and a goal that we do this every, say, every quarter. Once every three months, we get together and actually, you know, sit down and, and talk about stuff and, and figure stuff out. But we still have our meetings twice a week um, on, on Tuesdays and, and on Fridays. Um, the other reason is because that we're here is because we want to go out to dinner and celebrate. Um, we actually hit a milestone for us, um, and um, it's really exciting. <laughs> and so um, we're we're going out to a nice dinner and um, just gonna kind of just celebrate and decompress. It's so important when you have a business or when you're an entrepreneur to take time and appreciate the good things and the successes. So often we focus on long range, like gotta do this, gotta do that, that you lose sight of the fact that you're accomplishing things all along the way. And today is one of those days that we decided that we wanted to actually just celebrate because like I said, we, we hit a milestone. Sorry that I'm solo, everybody's doing their own thing. Um, but uh, another thing I wanted to talk about that's kind of taken me Actually, not much surprises me, but what happened with Tej Hanley in terms of um, in the comment section of my videos on YouTube has totally just just blown my mind. I never expected people to start sort of jumping on the Tej Hanley sort of train and, and making all sorts of funny, you know, Tej Hanley comments and, and memes, but it has been incredible. Um, it's sort of one of those things where I, I didn't know what to think of it at first. I thought it was funny, but it's sort of taken on a life of its own. Um, and the other cool thing about it is it's actually helped drive sales because people are looking in the comments and people read comments and people that have ne never heard me talk about T. Shanley are like, what is this T. Shanley? They search it and they go and, and some of them obviously have bought because our sales numbers have been up. Um, the other thing that's starting to happen is people are starting to actually make funny memes. And so um, I'd actually like to show you some of the, the fun ones right now. <laughs> Aren't they awesome? Um, I, I didn't know that I was creating this sort of monster when I started promoting Tej Hanley, but I'm kind of okay with it. And it's funny because I actually got a comment. Um, somebody sent me an email when I first started really hammering home, you know, Tej Hanley and promoting it hard on my YouTube channel. They were like, you're going to become a meme. That's what he actually, he emailed me. And he's like, and that is really bad for you. It's bad for your image. It's bad for your business. And I'm like, why? It's, it's actually fantastic and it's something not necessarily that you can control or you should strive for but you know they say that any publicity is good publicity well the reality is that I have this this really passionate group of guys that watch my videos that are promoting my product in my comments and it's helping business grow and um, and I don't know how that could be necessarily bad I mean who knows if it's bad is it bad for my image I, my image is probably tarnished by now anyway um, but it's just really cool um, something else that we're doing here I'm, and I know I'm all over the place this is kind of just a haphazard vlog I was planning on everybody sitting down and talking but we're running late Rob's flight got in uh, later than it than it should have and so we're sort of behind schedule and we have dinner reservations at seven um, and so something else I want to talk about that we just discussed in, in one of our meetings is sort of the, the adjustment of, of goals. When we ended last year um, in December, December 14th was the last time we actually together sat down and had a meeting. And we did sort of like projections in terms of, okay, what are our goals for 2017? So in December, we sat down and we came up with our, our, our goals and our objectives for 2017. Well, we're two and a half months in, almost done one of the quarters, um, because basically, fiscally, businesses break things into quarters, like first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And um, what we've come to realize is if we just sort of project out, we underestimated where we will be. And so we're actually adjusting our projections and, and our goals. 
which is pretty incredible. Um, it's incredible that that we are where we are. Um, but along with you know the rapid growth comes rapid issues like ordering and and inventory requirements. And so, like I said, we are getting a huge order in on Monday here at Tiege Hanley, but we've already placed the next order because it takes us 12 weeks in order to get that, that, that order from order placing to actually on the shelves, ready to ship out to you guys. And so, I mean, inventory issues and, and, and um, you know, just sort of understanding and identifying and projecting, and it's so incredibly challenging because we're growing so fast, uh, which is great, but it's also a little bit scary. Um, one of the other scary things is that all this inventory requires an incredible amount of cash because we basically have to pay a 50% deposit when we place the order, and then 30 days later after they ship it to us, we've gotta pay the balance. And it's not like 20,000, it's like, hundreds of thousands of dollars and so um you know that's one of the 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 biggest issues and the biggest challenges that businesses like this and and businesses that require you to have inventory face is that you have so much capital so much money tied up in inventory in order to grow you need to make sure that you always have enough liquid cash on hand in order to handle all the expenses and so you know they're growing pains we're, we're trying to figure things out but um one of the other really cool things that has sort of happened and, and that we've kind of realized is that um, I don't think right now we need to really try and raise extra money. Um, I know th that one of the, the things that we've talked about through this vlog is us needing to raise money in order to grow. And we've actually f think we've kind of figured out that we can grow the way we've been growing um, and not have to actually seek investment money, raise capital. Um, I think we can actually do it for now on our own. Now, if we want to go and, and do some crazy marketing blitz and TV and radio and all that crazy stuff like Dollar Shave Club does or Harry's does, um, you know, then we would obviously need to raise capital. But right now, we're on a really great growth uh, trajectory. Um, Something else that, that, is, that is interesting to us or something that we figured out is that our demographic and our customer base is much younger than we ever anticipated it. We thought that our customer base were going to be guys between the ages of like 25 and 45, 55. Well, it's actually a bit younger, which I, I mentioned a few vlogs ago. And um, I, I had an idea, I had a sneaking suspicion but we sort of looked at everything and looked at all of the demographic numbers and, and our customer base and realized that, yeah, our, our demographic, I would say 60% of our customers are between the ages of 18 and 35. And this is something that we didn't necessarily anticipate going into uh, business. We thought it was going to be much older. But this is exciting. It's exciting for me because young men are starting to take care of their skin. And this is something that if I could go back in time and do over, I would have started when I was 16, literally. And so to have a group of guys or this, this, this legion of men that are starting to actually take care of themselves is incredible. Um, what else is going on? Um, the, <laughs> I know I'm all over the place. The big issue with the, the website crashing has, has sort of made us realize that we've got some issues. We've got big issues that we've got to sort of get a handle on. And the website development is going to be um, sort of front and center in terms of transitioning to a different platform that is a little bit more robust and can handle the growth that we are experiencing and that we're going to try and, try and achieve. Um, so that's sort of going on right now. Um, the other thing is we filmed two more commercials. And so next vlog, I'm actually going to show you two more commercials that we filmed. One actually has me in it. The other one is a non-speaking, it's 30 seconds, it's music, it's, Christian did it. And I personally think it is incredible. Um, but I'm going to let you guys decide next time. I'm going to show you those and, and ask for your feedback. I know that the, the reception from Amy's advertisement or the first one that we did was kind of lukewarm um, but it didn't convert like at all and so it was a great learning experience these next two 
are very different than that. And so we're kind of excited to see what happens. Um, God, there's just so much going on and I know that I'm all flustered. All right, gentlemen, we have the three amigos. <laughs> all right, and Rob, why don't you tell everybody what, we're, what is this going on here? It this, looks so official. This is knowledge transfer. This is, you're watching knowledge transfer. Why would we need to transfer knowledge? <laughs> Well, we have, everyone knows Anthony by now, our great customer service and product ambassador. And unfortunately, you also have heard that he's moving on. He's um, heading towards uh, getting into med school and so forth. To less handsome pastures, yeah. I might add. Yeah. We'll, we'll be bringing his handsome with him. We'll, we'll be hooking him up. We'll be hooking him up. Right. Yeah. So what we're trying to do basically is take this beautiful customer service oriented brain and move it over here to Tom and uh, so he can carry on the torch and uh, he, there's going to be other people involved and you know so Tom's going to have to train some of those people but he's got to get really intimate uh, with the products and, and our customers learning how to, how, to, how to work with our customers um, and I was telling these guys before you know this is one of the things I in one, my comp the company I was worked with for 20 years a startup a slow startup I call it because I was there forever speak um, up um, and uh, you know so Everyone that came in the door, especially as a startup, has to talk to customers, has to learn customers, has to have to learn the products inside and out. Yep. And so, uh, no matter what direction you end up going in, um, it's just a necessary, necessary thing to do. And uh, as you go on, you always have that. You always have that DNA um, of the products and, and the customer service. As opposed to coming into a company and starting yeah. here and never actually having to interact with the customers. Right. right. This business, Tiege Hanley, is all about customers. This is the reason why we are where we are. This is why we're growing the way that we are. It's this customer. And so mm -hmm. at the core of Tiege Hanley, aside from the amazing products, is, is, is you, is, is mm -hmm. the customer. And yeah. so we feel like everybody that is involved in Tiege Hanley needs to be intimately involved and understand and connect and, and relate to our core audience, which is, which is you guys. And so Rob is trying to make that happen. So Tom is, um, you know, up to speed. Tom, what do you think so far? How long have you officially been okay. in the fold? I have been at Tiege Hanley for one week. How's it going? <laughs> Two weeks, maybe. Okay. Uh, I, I'm enjoying myself. If you guys have asked any easy questions, I've probably answered them. <laughs> um, and, uh, Training. So it's been full immersion. I've been using the products for uh, about a week, too. And I think these are the best good. body care products yeah. Yeah. I've ever nice. used. Uh, it's knocking the gray out of my beard. I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> is it? Rub a little Tiege Hanley on it. Tiege Hanley fixes yeah, everything, right. Right. which we've learned from the comments. Not from yeah. the memes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, cool. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Gentlemen, <laughs> we have been. It, it's just a whirlwind today. It's been. Uh, I mean, literally, it's. It's. I'm in Chicago for less than 24 hours. We got here. Rob got here late. We have so much to cover that it's a little bit overwhelming mm -hmm. but just wanted to quick grab the camera do a little vlog from corporate headquarters yeah, and just say right. thank you so much for everything yeah. um without you none of this happens without you this doesn't exist and so like you said this meeting is all about them yeah, yeah this meeting we sure are here doing this because of you That's which it. is incredible That's so it. guys thank you, everybody let me say I don't Take know where care. Kelly is. I don't know what he's doing. Guys, we'll we will see you help. next week. And you, you, we've got such a treat for you because I'm showing you, premiering, the ads that we did this past week. And they oh, are yeah, they're good. They're phenomenal. Awesome. Really good. We think. But we thought the last one was phenomenal. <laughs> and it sucked big time, apparently. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.